John and Chris from New Jersey Paranormal assembled a great group of investigators for our ParaUnity event at Sterling Hill Mine in Ogdensburg, New Jersey. Barefoot Paranormal, Gagnac Paranormal, Timothy Dalton, Kim the Ghost History Medium, Marcy and myself from the New Jersey Paranormal Project were all beyond ecstatic to be invited to this event. The earliest documenting evidence of mining activities on the Sterling Hill site date back to around 1730. In 1769, the property was acquired by William Alexander, also known in the history books as Lord Sterling. He was a major general during the American Revolution. Unfortunately, Sterling drank himself to death, and the property was acquired by Robert Ogden. Robert Ogden would give the property over to his son Elias in 1795. The Ogden family was heavily involved in mining and iron foundering in the area. The property changed hands over the many years of operation. The mine also took many lives as it provided precious minerals. It was an untalked about exchange for this line of work. Over 77 deaths were recorded in the mine over a 90 year period. However, the mine was in use several years prior to when they began recording the deaths in the mine, so that number is probably much, much higher. This site is hollow ground for the many miners that went into work and never got to leave. From residual to intelligent, spirit activity at this location is a hotbed for spirit communication. Sure, some of you never got to leave it, unfortunately. We would like to make contact with you tonight, and you can do so by using our devices. We have radios, and we have devices that you just need to walk up to. And just by walking up to them, we can establish contact with you. Do that again? Are you working? What kind of conditions? Are you trying to work in this area? Do you want us to leave? Yeah, it's right there. Mm -hmm. Could you come back again? Love to see you. Oh, there it is. Oh, jumped up in the bus. Yes, it did. No vocals. All right, so we just did direct radio voice, which uh, hopefully in your video here you'll share some of it. In Sterling Mine, we're pretty far down underground, not all the way, but we're pretty far down. So I couldn't get my phone to hotspot. I couldn't get radio reception or cell phone reception. There's literally no signal being broadcast from a tower that gets into this part of the earth. So when we're doing direct radio, this is all I'm working with.
I'm using 14,500 kilohertz in shortwave. There's no broadcast coming through. We had female and male vocals talking to us through this. Should not be. So if you can't get anything from the upper gigahertz to the lower kilohertz, then who the is coming through? <laughs> who are we talking about? Into this place. This is it's 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 ridiculous. Fantastic. <laughs> Should there be females in this mind working? Is it bad luck? I'm a quick thing to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How many are down here? Mm -hmm. Did anyone here work for Robert Fuller Jr.? And now it's here. Why are you here? Why are you on the back? Okay, I'm coming over here to look a little bit. But I do feel cold. I do feel cold with this. I feel cold with this. This is a good Definitely felt it up here. That was really cool. And that's not your turn. What are the odds at a 2,000 mark? They shouldn't be here. And you were talking like crazy. Tell them. Oh, women can do it better than you can. Just saying. That's why I was here to see what you were saying. That shit shouldn't be there. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? You want the women to leave? Can we talk to Kevin? Yes. Kevin, we're new here. We're going to start working in the mine. What level are we on?
guys ready? One, two, three, let's do it. How many spirits are in front of us right now? This is Bob here. This is Bob right here. You seem to be reacting to him. Does he look familiar? How many spirits are standing next to us right now? definitely your name, but we have to clear that one up. Yeah. Yeah, the whole, the whole mine rumbles. I hear it all the time. I keep hearing it rumble, rumble, unless it's thunder, which I guess it's possible. So, was that thunder outside? Yeah, that was, was rumble that in the mine. Yeah. Can you point to the direction where the explosion went? Can you show me where Kim is, please? Thank you. Is there a certain place that you would like us to go to to communicate better? Okay. Can you please point the rods in the direction that you would like us to go to? You'd like us to go down that hall, is that correct? Kim and I are going to stay here for a few, and then we will definitely go down now, okay? Do you need us to go? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry. Do you need us to go down there? Because you have to tell us something. Is this an urgent thing you need to tell us? Unknown. Yeah, that's definitely unknown. Uh, really, in thank you. Thank you so much. Is that temperature? Uh, it's temperature, yeah. And thank you. Can you make one of the lights go off? If you touch the wire on it, let me demonstrate for you, please. If you touch this wire, all the colors will light up. And it'll make kind of like a song. So feel free to play with that. You can also give us yes, no answers on that too. Are you the angry man? Yeah. No, this is somebody else in here. Yeah. Why? And I don't feel angry in no, here, I but, but when I go, I feel light and happy in here, but when I go down there is that's when I feel angry. Do you have to tell us about the angry man? Oh yeah, okay. Should Kim and I go down there without a man? I'm getting no. Hmm. Should we have a man protect us? Okay. But Kim and I aren't afraid. We mean you no harm. 
Is it okay if we do go down there? Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Are you are you a um, a younger adult? Okay. I feel like this person right now is like I want to say teens or maybe twenties, but I feel like he's teens. Are you in your teen years? Yeah. And you like this room because this is the room where the kids play. Yep. Yeah. Are you, but you're not the you're not the one who. Are you the one who is um, being crude and rude to people in the bathroom? Okay, yeah, so that's somebody different. I feel the property of the mine was part of other mines. I see the image of pinpoints popping up in other places. I also see the number 158 in my mind's eye. I feel like this could have something to do with death I'm not sure if it's a number of dead, but I feel like it's very meaningful. I see a worker with a mangled arm bleeding out. I feel he died in the mine. I'm also picking up on a J or a JR. That's significant also. Um, I see that spirits at this location walk through the walls. I'm actually seeing them step into the wall and vanish. Those were the notes that I recorded about a week before we arrived to the location of the Sterling Hill mine. One spirit sketch I did that actually matched a photo was Samuel Fowler Jr. It was a fantastic experience to get to work with such professional and dedicated investigators. Not only are they all amazing at what they do, but they're really good people too. I know I'm not just speaking for myself here, it was a true honor to have been included in this lineup of guests. Thank you again to John and Chris and hope to do this again soon. Follow my friends and visit their sites. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.